there everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary from Mary Matthews Handmade and this is my crochet and stitching vlog number 19. are you all today? I'm very well, thank you. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Mary and I live in a small cottage in West Sussex and I like to crochet and I like to sew and these weekly vlogs are just my way of showing you what I've been up to. So how was your Valentine's weekend? I hope you either got spoilt or you spoilt yourself, either way is fine in my book. What I'm gonna do is I decorate my shelf downstairs, so I use some of my hearts, I use one of my coasters that I've shown you how to do. So I'm just gonna pop in a little video here of my Valentine's shelf. something daft I like to do. So I've got a shelf down in the front room. I don't have a mantelpiece so I use that little shelf and I tend to decorate each season. So I'm thinking of some ideas for spring. Now I do know a lot of you were still making my hearts. Um, most of mine got sent off but you can see a couple of them were on the shelf downstairs. Um, so thank you for all your pictures that you're sending me. They look fantastic. And also, so last week um, I did my little tutorial for these fabulous little five petal flowers. Now, if you haven't tried these yet, then do have a go. They make up in literally moments. You can do many different colours. What you could do, because we start in the centre using the magic circle, um, and then I put five UK double stitches in that magic circle um, and then we make the petals using those five stitches. But um, you can see all the ones that I have done have been um, a solid colour or I've used two strands to sort of get a, a slightly variegated look. But what you could do... Um, once we've done the first round here, then fasten off and you could have different coloured petals to the centre. I was going to say that in the tutorial, but I forgot. Um, <laughs> but lots of you have been making these up. Um, you can use these for loads of different things. You can just um, pop them on to items of clothing, hair bands, hair clips, somebody did suggest. Um, I have actually been decorating my little pocket hugs with mine. So um, I think this one is a chunky wool. This is a DK weight, so you can make them larger and smaller, depending on what yarn they you have. They are a fabulous way of using up all your colourful oddments of yarn. Now, I showed you this heart um, a couple of weeks ago that I actually bought here um, from Hobbycraft. Um, it's this lovely natural, is that wicker? I, don't, I can't. I can't think what that's called, but it's that natural wood. So I am literally gonna make lots of these in different colors and I will most probably just hot glue them on. Now you could tie them on, um, you know, there's, you could just tie them around these bits here. That wouldn't be too difficult at, at all. But if you hot glue, I find that hot glue is quite strong. Once it's on, it seems to be on. I know some of them, some of you, um, don't like to use the hot glue gun and if you've got children then be really really careful because it can you can burn you it gets very very hot um, but that's what I'm going to do with some of mine and it's going to make a nice Mother's Day decoration but what I did also think about so sorry I've got a shawl on because it's a little bit chilly but I don't have 
my shoulders are tiny and so if I have shawls it just slips off but <laughs> I'm going to keep it on as best I can. But what I did show you in the tutorial, so these lovely um, coasters that I've shown you how to make, what you could do, the smaller um, flowers, so this one is done in a DK weight yarn, you could, because this looks a little bit sort of like grass or bush, a little bit of a bush effect there, I did suddenly think why you could add some flowers around as well to your coaster. So different coloured flowers, maybe a little button or somebody did suggest um, putting beads. I think that was Katia. She's made these with beads in the middle um, and then attaching them to a coaster. Um, I thought that was quite a sweet, sweet little idea. I've, I'll pop in a photograph here of my candle um, because you can see the coaster flat then with the flower on. But you could obviously put lots more flowers around the outside as well. But I'm just going to pop a quick picture in here. So that's an idea but I did think because I had the idea for this frilly coaster from my tutorial for the hair scrunchies so um, there'll be a link to that down below um, very very similar technique to get this effect around so if you had hair scrunchies um, Perhaps I'll pop a picture of, of them here as well. Doing lots of popping of pictures. <laughs> but you see, they have that lovely effect as well and you could add flowers to that. You could even use this effect maybe on one of those metal hoops. So you just put as many stitches as you could. Use the technique that I use in my scrunchie tutorial, then add this effect on um, going all the way around the outside, add some flowers and maybe make um, like a table decoration or as it's on a hoop, you could then use that as a frame on the wall. But as I say, the ideas are endless. They're so versatile. You could have a few together and make a nice little brooch. You'd need to attach them to some felt maybe. Um, and then that gives you something to put your brooch back on. Um, I've taken my shawl off because it keeps falling off. It's driving me mad. I'll just, I'll just be chilly. Um, <laughs> But as you can see, I, um, as I said, I attached mine to this little handmade pocket hug. Now I do sell these in my Etsy shop or you can simply make these up. I think I showed you a couple of weeks ago. So I've just hand embroidered hugs on the front and then popped my little flower on using a button and that just helps it stay on. And then I've added a little chain so you can either put it in your pocket or attach it to something. Now I was thinking wouldn't these be fab if you had some brown felt and maybe keep this keep this very simple to do like a round with some ears so it will be a teddy bear shaped head. You don't need to put a face on um, but if you had like just a plain teddy bear shape and then put your hugs on the front that could be a pocket bear hug what a <laughs> literally just thought of that um so i might make some of those they'd be fab send them through the post to all your friends on mother's day wouldn't that be nice for mother's day because i don't know where we're going to be at um here in england um i don't know about the the rest of the UK is very similar but here in England there's going to be a review next Monday on the 22nd so apparently they're going to set out how we're going to come out of lockdown um, so I don't know what's going to happen on Mother's Day um, here in the UK Mother's Day is I believe the end of March I know in the US you have it at different times of the year but here it's in March 
So I am thinking forwards for um, a couple, I, I do have a couple of ideas for tutorials, a sewing tutorial and a crochet one for Mother's Day because I was looking through my craft desk, I've got so much stuff, um, and I found these. Now these are these um, purse clasps. So there's two sorts. Now these ones here, I have a few colours. Now I don't know where these um, were bought from. They were a gift. Somebody gave them to me about four years ago and I haven't used them. They're that nice sort of brass colour. Um, but I did already have, now these are more of a silvery colour, I don't know if you can see that, um, quite colourful purse clasps. Now these I did get off of Amazon and I've just got a few colours left. So I'm thinking I'm going to be showing you how to make, make up a purse. Now I will need to find the link um, because I think these ones I got about three years ago. So I will find a couple of links maybe on Amazon or you can get these at craft, um, craft shops I'm sure. Um, but what we'll do is just make a nice crochet so you'll it'll be working in the spiral again and then what I can do is show you how to attach. So I did make one last year, it had stripes in um, and again I will just pop in a picture of the one that I did last year. So they're rather sweet, it's a nice easy idea. Also um, that has been fueled because my um, stepmom very kindly has given me all of these little balls of cotton yarn. Now I've already got some up here. So they are very similar to this, um, I can never say this, Rikurumi. Um, right, I'm going to show you the label. There you go, it's a double knit weight um, cotton. Um, and you can buy these, I know you can get these in Hobbycraft, I think they're about 99p each. Now I'm not sure, this is just a selection of the colours she has got and I'm not sure where she's got them from. They don't have any bands on them, they're just, she's just got them like this. Now we did a swap, we did a bit of a yarn swap, so that's a nice idea if you've got lots of yarn that you're not going to use maybe. She has been making up, so she knits, so she's been making up squares to sew together for blankets. So she would rather have larger balls of yarn to use because they're not going to last that many rows. But I tend to use these. These would be fabulous for little purses or flowers or like the little coasters and mandalas that I like to make. So. She's given me these, but I've got about two bags of various colours, so I'm very, very excited, very thankful for those. But it's, um, it just looks very similar to um, those. And I think you can get these at various yarn shops and wool warehouse as well. So just have a look out for those. Um, but as I say, I will also have a sewing tutorial coming up for you very soon. Now, um, works in progress. I haven't made a lot of progress this week because, as I say, we had Valentine's Day and um, I'm filming this Tuesday because yesterday was my partner's birthday. So we did go out and about. We had a drive and a walk and then we went to the garden centre because they're open. Um, so... <laughs> Um, yes, time has been limited. I've been making lots and lots of these fabulous headbands and sending them off. So I have had quite a few, quite a few orders for these. So that's been keeping me quite busy. Um, unfortunately, I haven't done the lining yet for my bag, but that is high on my list. Um, 
as I say, I've got some black fabric that I'm going to use, or a, or, or a, sorry, an old, can't speak today, or an old black sheet that I have. But the only thing I haven't got, and I didn't think about, was black thread. So I've had to do, um, I'm going to do a click and collect at Hobbycraft for some black thread. And then I'm going to show you how I line my bag. Um, but as you can see, I mean, originally when I first started to, to make my squares, it was going to be a blanket. It wasn't going to be a bag. It sort of just um, developed into something different. And as you can see, it is quite, you know, um, the opening at the top is quite wide. Um, now I'm going to use this just indoors, most probably for a project bag. But I will because, as I said, look to my craft drawer here. I have found these magnetic snaps. Or snaps, I don't quite know what you call them, but you can see. Oops. There we go. They are very magnetic. <laughs> they come in two parts. So what I'm going to do is add a couple of these poppers so they literally just snap shut and then you have to use your nails, excuse my nails, they're rubbish at the minute. Um, so what I will do as I put the bag together, I'm going to show you how to insert these, it's very easy, very easy indeed um, and they have separate parts so um, if I just show you. I can't get it apart. They are very, very magnetic. So what you do is um, you put this part through your fabric. It does pay to put maybe another piece of fabric on the back just because you're pulling these apart. As you can see, they're very strong. Um, it just, it would weaken the fabric. So I'm just going to put another piece of fabric and then you have what I can only describe as like a washer. So you'd make a couple of holes, put in one side, and then you have a washer, and then these would be folded. If you can see, so that that keeps them keeps them in place. But what I will do is, I say, when I put all of this together, I'll show you how I put those on. So. Ongoing project, bit of a fail with that one this week, but I forgot I needed thread. I didn't get that one done. What I did do, and I've been meaning to make these for a long, long time. Now, um, as you know, I do get some patterns off of Etsy. This was by So Happy Creative. If I just show you these fabulous Granny Square fingerless gloves. So I've made these up over the weekend. If I put, I'll put them on. They're ever so cosy and very easy. Um, it's a lovely pattern. It comes, um, she sells her patterns on Etsy. They are in US terminology, but she does give you um, there a little chart at the bottom so um, you can just change it into US terms no problem at all um, but as you can see they're so cosy that she's got a nice length rib here some of them this year are coming right up here my arms aren't long enough so um, obviously you could make it longer or shorter whatever you wanted but I just followed her pattern two granny squares literally just sewn together and then you put a little bit of a rib around the top which just brings them in um, and then you leave a gap for your thumb and then you put a little bit of rib around here as well but as you can see they've come out really nice nice and cozy this would be fabulous i mean mother's day over here in the uk you could still give these for mother's day um but it would be nice if you want to get organised for next Christmas. Make loads of these. Make sure you get their favourite colours. So you've got squares either side. And they are lovely. Warm and cosy. So that is, um, again, so happy creative. So if I, can I, sh 
can you see that there? So happy creative. And I believe that a couple of weeks ago I showed you a heart, a free pattern um, that I found on Instagram and that was from the same lady. So I thought I'd support her. This is a paid for pattern. Um, and I think I said then what I'm going to be doing because I have bought quite a few patterns off of Etsy, but I haven't printed them off. What I'm going to do to keep me inspired is print them and then I'm going to start myself up a nice fire with all my patterns in. Oops, everything's going flying. Um, and add all my patterns in to one of those. Maybe decorate that as well. What do you think? <laughs> now I do have a couple of small purchases to show you and then... I am going to draw the result of my competition from last week. So thank you to all of you that entered. Um, but what, what I want to do is show you a couple of purchases that I've made off of Etsy this week. Now, as I say, it is Mother's Day coming up and I have um, a stepmother and a mum, so I buy them both something. Now, my stepmum, I can make something for her. The trouble with my mum is I taught her how to crochet and she sews and she knits so um, if I make her something she could, she can usually make it better than me. Um, so I did buy her a little handmade gift off of Etsy from somebody else. She is an absolute guinea pig mad freak. She loves guinea pigs. She collects lots of little models and all sorts of guinea pigs so I bought this I didn't realize quite how small it was going to be but this is just adorable so I bought this I'm gonna to have to hold it really carefully because it's tiny from hand painted stuff a lady called Victoria so if I show you her card first so you can find her on Instagram and Etsy okay so there's her card and then this, can you see how small that is, came in the post. And then you take the lid off and then I'm gonna put my hand so they don't fall out. Can you see there's a little family, I don't wanna tip it up, of guinea pigs, aren't they gorgeous? There's four in there. I think there's another one just there. They are little painted pebbles would you believe? So I hope you can see them. They're absolutely adorable. So I've got that as a gift. She will love it, but I will need to put a note. Just be careful as you open that box. So she's just, I, but I think she does other animals as well. So it might be just worth having a look. So that's hand painted stuff. So that's a gift for now, my the mom. other thing that I bought, so you, you know that I love all these wooden houses and people. And I have bought a woodland peep, I think she calls them. So this is from, um, it's a an Instagram page called Silver Paws. Um, and she does, this is called her Spring Flower Fairy. So if you can see on there, she has daffodils painted all around her. And I've seen she does blue, blue ones with bluebells painted all around her. And then she's got her little leaf there. So she is called Silver Paws and her um, Instagram profile picture is a black cat. I'm not sure that she actually has a shop. You do have to, she just posts pictures of things that she's done and then you have to message her. So we did it like that and she takes PayPal. So I bought that for my spring shelf when I decorate that because I do love daffodils. It's just such a lovely colour, brightens everything up makes you think that better times are on their way. So anyway, that's all I have to show you, but I need to do the most important thing now and draw a winner from last week. So last week we went past the 1,000 subscribers. I think we're into 
1,100 and something now. So thank you very much for your continued support. Um, you all introduced yourself down below and I'm just going to shout out some places. Um, so you're from Ireland, Fort Worth, Texas, Belgium, Maryland, Liverpool here in the UK, Norfolk, Derbyshire, uh, Norway, Devon, West Sussex, that's where I am. Um, Florida, Ontario, Canada, Essex here in the UK, Germany and lots of parts of Yorkshire as well. So you're all over the place. Thank you very much. Now I've got all of your names in this little bowl here. Um, but just to recap what you can win. So it was these two balls of yarn. It's the Signet Boho Spirit, in case you don't win and you really like this. So um, this is beautiful. I originally bought this, um, as I said last week, to make up an infinity scarf. The tutorial is um, by Ophelia Talks. What I'll do is just write that on a piece of paper and then post it with your yarn. Um, and you have got your brand new five millimeter hook that came in the post. So that's to go with the yarn. You will win this little chap here, this little jellyfish. And of course, Hattie. Oh, I do want to knock stuff over. Hattie is modeling the cozy headband that you could also win. Okay, so that's what's up for grabs. So all you need to do if I pick your name out of the bowl is just there's my email address is down below. Just send me your postal address and all of that will go off to you. So here we go. What I'll do is I'll, I should have written where you are from. I've got all your names in here, but then I can't remember where you're from. But what I'll do, um, I'll just shuffle them around, shuffle them around. I'll just pause the video and then tell everyone where you're from. If I can't remember. So there we go. Have I just got one? Yeah. So I'm not looking, I'm not looking. It is, oh, it is M. Sherry, so I know that you're in Florida because you kindly said you'd get those hooks for me. I may actually have, to, I don't know what's going to happen travel wise, so come later in the year I might take you up on that, that very kind offer. But you are the winner, so M Sherry, if you can just um, email me your postal address, I will send you all those bits in the post. Well done. So that's all from me. Thank you to everybody that entered that giveaway competition. I'm sorry you can't all win. I'd love to send you all something. Um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, please stay nice and safe. Try and stay dry and warm. Um, it's not very nice out there today. Um, but anyway, I will see you here again next week. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>